One of the most critically injured was Caleb Medley from Southern Colorado. KRD on News Channel 13's Emily Allen was the only Southern Colorado reporter in the courtroom when that verdict was read. She joins us now live outside the Aurora Theater where that shooting happened almost three years ago. Emily. A quiet night outside the Century 16 Theater. This is where James Holmes opened fire almost three years ago. Now, today in court, it was an incredibly emotional day for our families whose lives were forever changed by a trip to this theater. For the Medleys, it's been a long journey to this guilty verdict. It's just sad. You look around and we're full in this room full of people who have lost their sons and their daughter, you know, and their brothers and it's just it, it's hard to wrap your mind around so in a way I think it feels good and everyone kind of said congratulations to each other but there's really not a word you know that works for what right. really just happened I mean we're all happy that we got guilty but we're all really sad that we're all here right now. Caleb and Katie Medley were at the Dark Knight Rises movie premiere when James Holmes opened fire. Caleb was shot in the head and suffered severe brain injuries. The fact that we made it out alive any of us is the Florence couple was expecting their first child any day. Katie would give birth to their son while Caleb was in another round of surgery fighting for his life. Katie says their son Hugo pushes them forward. The fact that we have Hugo has kind of driven us this whole time also. We've so kind of had something driving us the whole time. We the jury find the defendant James Egan Holmes guilty of attempt to commit murder in the first degree after deliberation. Caleb says this jury's verdict brings yeah, yeah, yeah. relief. This family hopes Holmes gets sentenced to death. Meanwhile, they'll continue to focus on their lives. Getting Caleb better. That's our focus. Well, that's been our focus, and that's going to continue to be our focus. Katie says this verdict isn't the end, but at least this is the answer they wanted. We did hear some rumblings about some possible protests or maybe even a vigil here outside the theater, but it has been quiet here tonight, especially after today's verdict. In Aurora, Emily Allen Cardio, News Channel 13.